and welcome. This is in Blender, my YouTube Blender channel, and this this uh, YouTube tutorial. I'm going to show you a very huge thing that you could learn and make your start making your own shorts and stuff. This is a robot for you know making your own shorts and stuff. This robot, you can animate the LCD display and you can have a nice controllers that you could, you know, animate, make it like this and stuff. You know, you can make this kind of movements, you can make this. And the robot is very simple, easy to follow, you know, have this kind of movement, you know, simple shaders. Even if you are not using Blender for the same time, you could possibly you could you are definitely going to be learning a lot of things in here so if you are a pro user and not pro intermediate user you can learn a lot about rigging and stuff in this tutorial this is going to be nice fun so enjoy so first navigation around blenders for those of you who don't know how to navigate in blender if you don't have a mouse you should have a mouse you can use this to rotate you know zoom and stuff but i do recommend using this I recommend using the middle mouse button, so I'm just going to enable the screencast tools for you guys to see me working. Yeah, yeah. Middle mouse, uh, scroll up and down for zooming, and use the middle mouse to move around. You know, rotate around your selection. If I select this, rotate around this, this, you know. And if you shift a middle mouse, you can, you know, pan around. So middle mouse with everything it works. Um, first we have to delete everything, we have to, you know, delete everything, shift a mesh and add a UV sphere. So we'll be working for the tire, we have everything modeled, so we don't need this, we have to shade it smooth, so we have a nice geometry to look at, you know. It's just faking the geometry, if you go like this, you can see the edges around here. So I'm just going to go ahead, well, this cuts, sorry, I don't know what to do with them, I have to do this, so, you know. I'm just going to um, select this part. Uh, you know, click here, Control plus plus, you know, plus on the number part uh, to make the selection bigger. If you don't have a number part, that that one will work. So I'm just going to click this and make it shifty, you know, and scale it up. So I'm just going to P and uh, separate this. You can even separate it by loose parts, but I'm just going to P and selection. You know, I've selected it. Now, if you click loose parts, it will, uh, you know, do the same thing. You know, I'm just going to extrude it and Alt S to extrude it outwards like this. Alt S. If you click S, it will extrude an every part. But Alt S, I think it extrudes along the norm, so this will be cool if you use it. So you see this, you know, funky looking thing around here. Uh, we are going to fix it by going to the object properties panel, and I'm just going to go to normals and auto smooth this. And 30 degrees works quite fine. This is is going to smooth the parts that are below uh, 30 degrees. If this is above 30 degrees, it won't. Uh, make it smooth like this 90 degree sharp edge. It won't smooth this. So if we go up uh, above the 90 degree, it will get you know more smooth and stuff. You know you get it. You play with the settings. You know you have to play with Blender for a lot of time to get it good. And I have been doing this for a long time. So I'm just going to go uh, shift the sh extrude and the z-axis. I'm just going to go to the place where I like. You know around here so if you have this part if you want it you know it's your choice i won't do it but i want it you know flat so i'm just going to uh, go ahead and make it loop tools and flatten it so if you don't have loop tools enabled i'm just going to go ahead and preferences and add a loop tool here you know loop tools and make it enable there and if you want screencast tools you know screen cards you know and here you have to download screencast tools it doesn't come with blender i like f2 and while we here so i'm just going to enable one more add-on i'm just going to enable f2 add-on you you should have f2 add-on enable this is like the best add-on in blender you know it does the basic stuffs very good and i'm just going to make it a little bit smaller I just want it like this 
I'm just going to add a loop cut around here so it goes to the center. I'm just going to click AC to, you know, make it on the place. So I'm just going to uh, bevel this, Control B, and put it up and down like this. So we have a nice part to rotate on. So I'm just going to separate this by selection, P and selection. And this part, loose parts don't work because you know they're loose. They're not loose. So I'm just going to click this and I'm just going to hide this to work on this part. Hide edge to hide tab to edit mode. You know, go to edit mode. To, you can go tap tap. You click tab. You go to edit mode. You know, simple stuff. I'm just going to click this and if I click E to extrude, you know, extrude the parts. Um, and ESC escape it. To, make, to put them on their places, I'm just going to scale them, but we don't want the scaling to be like this. We don't want the z-axis affecting the um, scaling, so I'm just going to click Shift Z and like this. It works, so right here. So we have enabled F2 add-on in the preferences, like I showed you. Um, I'm just going to click this part, you know. Click F to fill this part, and here's the magic happens with the F2 add-on. Just like F, and it fills the squares. You know? So we have a nice, you know, extra geometry. You know, this is some fancy stuff. Alt H to unhide the screen. So I'm just going to scale a little bit in the z-axis, so we have a, you know, nice part. So I want the screen to have a rotation like this, but if we rotate it like this, it the pivot point is here. So I'm just going to add. Go to face selection mode, click 3 on the number pad, on your number pad, no, on your keyboard, I'm just going to click 3, if you don't have a number pad, you can just go here, edit, preferences, and go to input, and eliminate number pad, so you can use the top part as a number pad, which you should know already if you don't have a number pad, you know. So I'm just going to select everything using A, and shift S, and no cursor to select it, to make it there. So I'm just going to right click, Right click and set origin to 3D cursor. I'm just going to scale in the z-axis. So we have a nice screen, you know, on the difference thing in here. So I'm just going to click this. I'm just going to select the top part and the bottom part and extrude it and scale it. Shift Z, scale it without affecting the z-axis. So we have this kind of nice transition. So I'm just going to go ahead, click one, and I'm just going to click from this part to control click this part. No, from this part, control click this part, so we have a nice screen going on. If you want, you can make the screen more square and stuff, but I'm just going to keep this part, I guess, yeah. And insert, click I for insert, you know, click it and insert it, uh, and extrude it. We don't want the extrusion to be just on the, you know, normal z-axis. We want it to have some kind of, you know, get in inwards. So I'm just going to click Alt S to scale it along the normals. You know, just click like this and go like this. So while we are selecting this, so we are almost done with the modeling. So I'm just going to go here around and add some extra geometry around here. I'm just going to add another loop cut around here and add a, you know, Kind of um, details. This is just fancy stuff. By no means necessary to do, but you know, to have a good look about it, we need a good looking, you know, modeling. I think it's not about the modeling too much. It's about the, you know, having nice textures. You can go to like in the modeling. You can like do it like. 50% and stuff, you know, you can sculpt on the textures, you know, you can do lots of things and textures. So we are going to go to where the magic is happening, modifiers properties. So I'm just going to go here. This is a non-destructive type of modeling. So first, let's rename our stuff, you know. Let's call this screen. I am a bad speller, by the way. Screen. Uh, at the sphere, sphere. No problem. Mm -hmm. I always call this a body. Body. So I'm just going to go here and add a bevel modifier to this. So we have a nice smooth edge. So we are going to add a bevel modifier. So the bevel modifier will be uh, beveling everything. So we can go here and enable 
wire geometry so we see that everything in this is getting beveled so we just want the hard edges to get beveled like this part and this part and we are just going to go and limit you know by angle you know the hard edge so, so we limit it by 30 degrees so the only anything that is above 30 degrees is going to be beveled so this part this part i don't think this is i think you know yeah. Well, I'm not kidding. I'm not getting math anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead, click this one. I'm just going to disable this. So I'm just going to add a build here first to see what is happening. See, we have a limiter by angle. So we have 30 degrees. I'm just going to decrease the offset. So we have a nice bevel. Cool. So we have selected this, this part. So I'm just going to go to object mode. And everything is fine, so I'm just going to go ahead and yeah, we should click stuff around here. Nope, yeah, we should. So I'm just going to select this one and decrease the offset with this one, so you know, add more stuff. Now we have a nice and clean geometry, so I'm just going to go ahead and disable wire. So I'm just going to go ahead, like you know, now. It's almost there with the model. We need a nice texture going around. So I'm just going to go ahead and go to front view. So I'm just going to go ahead, you um I'm just going to unwrap it from view. I'm just going to show you what UVs mean. It's just if you go to front view and you see this, this is the UV of this. UV means like you know flat projections of the 3D sprite, you know, so we can add texture. We need texture for, yeah, I have bragged about textures. Just go ahead and you unwrap from view. You have to be in the front of the graphic view. So we have a nice UVs, uh, you know. So we have this UVs going around. So I'm just going to scale it up. G, uh, Y axis, you know. This is the Y axis, this is the X axis. This works like those in math, not calculations, I guess. I was never good at that. Um, you see, I live in Ethiopia, by the way, so you know, I am not not aware of those stuff happening all over the place. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip those parts, you know. <clears throat> so I'm just going to add another part here. Um, um, let me go to texture paint. No, I'm just going to. Go to shading mode so now if we go to shading mode we see we have a nice you know nice looking geometry around there so um let's let's go layout and show you something so if we go here and add a texture on this thing new material now let's go to call it screen and if we change the color of this to anything you want you know i'm gonna go like blue and stuff it does work why I don't know. No, I know, but this is the this basically is the way you model and you do stuff. And when we go to loop development or sh uh, shading mode, here are the parts when actually the light bounce is getting calculated and stuff. You know, EV is this game engine, it works differently from cycles, but this is where you see the curves. Now, if I change this stuff, you know, it works. So go back to this color. And add another one here. I'm just going to go to screen here and I am just going to go ahead and do the screen print, but I'm just going to add here. And if we go here and when Blender comes, it gives you some default material. So I'm just going to go ahead and add a material here. So I'm just going to go ahead and here and add a block one here. So this Keep continue doing this. So we have to, whew, the stairs are getting taller. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. So add the screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and you know, shading mode. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you some stuff. From did you? I have found some tutorials to do the face. You know. The matrix face display. This guy, uh, thousand screen shot, thousand shots. Yeah. This guy showed me how to use the face, you know. And if we go to this link, 
the three faces uh, the LCD screen shader by um, who's the name um, CG Cody so this guy show me some stuff like you know how to make the matrix display I've made a presets so I'll be keeping the you know the link in the description so you can go ahead and download the free LCD shader by CG Cody uh, he is a very good guy you know he made stuff for free and you know I'm from Ethiopia and I can't use those PayPal and stuff even if you want to pay I can't pay so I'm just going to be using some stuff from you know those guys who made it for free and you know thank them every time I get the chance till I can go ahead and support them and you can go ahead and Southern Shorty he makes a very good tutorial so you can go ahead and support him in Patreon so I'm just going to go ahead and I have downloaded this stuff so I'm just going to go to um, here and append the file and I'm just going to file append and you can append his matrix display wherever you have you know extracted it when you go here and lcd.blend and you have to go here and materials and you go matrix display so when you have appended it nothing happens why we don't know I'm just because uh, you have to you know make this part the matrix display so when you make it the whole things become a matrix display what you want to do is add another one and and assign this part you know you have selected the face on this window assign it and add the matrix display here so now the matrix display is only affecting this part so now we are almost done we have to add the face you know what is this without the face so i think this is a little bit downward so here's when the uvs come you know you have to select this part from here to here and select everything here and the y-axis we know put it down around here but i think we are going to change the we don't want uh, the face that can preset we want the faces that are made by this guy he is called um thousand queen show yeah who is by him uh, you know use his faces and go ahead and delete this node we want another node shift a and image sequence so I'm just going to go ahead and here is the file, the image that comes with this. Very nice face. I'm, I'm, I was just going to, you know, make the face myself, but he made it. Why not use his, you know, he is, he is good, he is great. So I'm just going to connect the vector here that comes with the node setup. Okay, and plot the image from here so my, you might not see it right away I don't know why I'm just did it again it works so away I guess <clears throat> so if you want to animate this so I'm just going to go to frame one in this one I'm just going to animate this you know this offset is going to switch between those so we can animate this so I'm just going to click I and you know change the interval and stuff you know you can animate anything so I'm just going to go ahead and do the rest so we are done by the modeling, so I'm just going to select everything in GZ1. So I know that this is 2 meters, so I'm just going to move it upwards of 1 meter, you know. So I'm just going to shift S in this one and cursor to select it. Now we want to animate this, so we can animate it by keyframes and rotate it like this. I don't know, it's, uh, this is noticeable, but it's, you know, animatable like this. Man, it works. Can animate it like this, but using bones is better. But so I'm just going to go delete the bone and uh, shift I. Shift not human metric. I'm just going to add a single bone. Go to the uh, you know in front, make it in front, and you know 
GZ and put it up there. GZ and put it up there. So I'm just going to subdivide this ball twice. To get the ball like this. So I'm just going to, you know, add some controllers to, you know, pose mode, not pose mode. I'm just going to go to object mode and print this the body to be with the ball. So if I rotate it in the pose mode so we can rotate the ball. So this is free. So we just want to make this display to this one. Control P ball. So if I go to pose mode now and move this and move like this, but if I rotate this, you can see we can rotate the bone individually. So this is a nice step to make it work. So <clears throat> for the this part, we can have, you know, we can make, we can just leave it like this, but I have a nice idea to make it better. So I'm just going to, uh, you know, parent the bone to the Object control P set parent two. So whenever we move this, we move the ball. So uh, I'm just going to shift C to make the three D cursor to the center. So I'm just going, to, just going to click A, shift A, and add a um, new bone here. Single ball to control everything. So I'm just going to shift A and add a new plane. You know, scale it two times to make it like this. So click A, the tab to edit mode X and dissolve, uh, no, um, delete only the face. So we have in this nice rectangle, you know, to move around. So I'm just going to go ahead, shift A and apply the scale. I'm just going to go ahead and make this in front for this bone and make this bone. Uh, click this bone and go to the object, uh, the bone properties and go to um, this is an add all wiggle bones. We just add some stuff, you know. It's a good add on, you read about it or you know, Google about it. I'm um, just going to go ahead and under. I have to get you put display. I, okay. I think this is it. Yeah. If I. Yeah, custom objects, you make this view. Okay, so we make the object look like this. But it is, you know, if you rotate it like this, it doesn't have anything. So I'm just going to go to edit mode and rotate it on the x-axis. Then come back to this one and rotate it 90 degree. So we have fooled the ball. <laughs> so I'm just going to hide this one. So you don't have to see it. So I'm just going to... Go ahead, click the uh, object, click the bone. You know, this is the bone, control P and object. So, whenever we move this, we move the whole thing. So, now we want, we just want to, you know, rotate the ball like this. Whenever we move the, um, you know, uh, whenever we move this, we want the ball to rotate on some degree. So, we want, um, um, uh, we want this to work like this. I don't know. I'm just going to show you. So I'm just going to clear the parent between. So whenever I rotate this, so the parent there uh, get messed up. So I shouldn't have done that one. So I'm just going to okay remove the, the round stuff. So I'm just going to remove this. So I'm just whenever I rotate this, it rotates. So I'm just going to remove this. So I'm just going to go ahead here. So and check that if I move the ball, does it work? I'm just going to control Z everything. And yeah, I'm just going to check this. It's now okay. Now if I yeah uh, yeah. So I have parented the ball to the bone. So sorry to do for delaying you. Know. Don't parent it. You know, click the bone and you know yeah. So I'm just going to show you this one last time. So I'm just going to go to relations and click on everything. This is um, parented to this bone. This is parented to this bone, the upper part of the bone. And this part is parented to nothing. 
Yeah. So we want it to be printed with this ball. Control P. Printed to the ball. So if we move the ball, the ball moves, and we want this to be printed to this. So we have one big bone moving everything, and we want this to be moving alone. If you rotate it like this, we have some nice rotations happening. So um, this is this could be a little bit bad. You can just use this, go to pose mode, you know, move your screen, do some animations. Uh, but I prefer using, you know, having something here to be controlling the screen. So I'm just going to click to the um, um, three and go three, you know. I'm just going to go to edit mode on the ball and click the sprite and extrude it in the y axis. Just going to click G, yeah, it is connected, Alt P, clear points. So we have a nice. Bone with no parents. Sad little bone. So I'm just going to go ahead here in G and Z and you know make it around here in front of um, the bone, the screen, I guess. Okay, not a good idea to move this one. I'm just going to move this one. So I'm just going to click here and add a constraint. So when uh, this bone is always looking at this bone, so I'm just going to go ahead and pause mode. Go here and you know, add bone constraints. Let me warn you, I'm not. Time lapsing this part if it is not working. So I'm just going to EZ and, you know, Alt P to clear the parents. So I'm just going to GZ this in the top part. So I'm just going to add this bound to that one, please work. And add this to 90 degrees. So add the pole target, this one. Okay, it is working. I don't know why, but it works. So. <clears throat> I'm just going to tell you how I figured it out. So I'm just going to add a uh, inverse kinematics on the top part. So um, inverse kinematics, you know, uh, comes uh, the inver uh, FK and IK. So IK goes inversely. So the bone goes from the top part to the upper point. So if I click this part and rotate it for some reason, it's not working because we added some IK on it. So if I move this bone, it's inverse kinematics because it will affect the bone on the upper chain. So inverse kinematics means it works from the top to bottom. So if I click this and move this, it will move the bones below that one. So and the screen will be looking this way. Pole target means where the bone should look. You know. So we can, you can have your own story. I have made uh, you know. Some dumb story. So if you want to, if you have gone funky with this robot and make it look like this, let's go away. Alt R, Alt G to you know, put everything back to place. So <clears throat> you might want you know to find this control P. I should probably not do this, but you know, if it works, it's good. So I'm just going to control P this. Connected, not on for the keep of seat. So if this guy got rotated, okay, control P, pause mode. If this guy got like this, so we can, you know, bam. Who is the genius now? Okay, what is happening? Should probably not do that, but ha, I don't know what is happening. I'm just going to. You know, clear the parents. I'll go to edit mode. Take this to Alt Alt and P. Clear the parents. So we have a nice parent. So I hope 
you enjoyed this tutorial but one last thing let's light the scene you know it's a little bit dark so let's add a light shift a light while we are in the pose mode we got the armature here we got this plane here so i'm just going to add a new collection a new collection i'm just going to call it gizmo this fancy name for you know controllers this is the fancy old ways um gizmo you know the armature is this guy a robot robot base controller you know when the part is in the chain it goes from up and down you know works um so we want to light it so i'm just going to add a new collection which is called light i'm just going to use this click see where you can see lights disable them you have a nice HDR working around, so I'm just going to click this part. So I'm just going to use the one that looks pretty. Not this one, definitely. We are going to use this one. So now we can just animate it, moving around, eye, location. But first, let me show you how to animate the screen. I'm just going to go to movie, no, shading mode. Click the face, of course, and click the screen with the uh, stuff now we have this <clears throat> so um let's have a nice little timeline here dope shit no Textures. You know you can always animate it. You know just click I, I and add a keyframe. Delete keyframes. You know just go to one I. We got a keyframe here. I'm just going to go here and add a, make it the second one. Oh yeah, I got it. So I'm just going to add a insert the keyframe here. So if we go from here, it will change. Thank you. Fine. <clears throat> so basically, you can just go ahead and animate this. I this could just go to pose mode for a second and you know move the pose. I'm just going to click this and click this and go ahead to the pose mode. I and uh, location giga y axis. Go around here and. G and Y axis, I location. We have a nice movement around there. So if you want to see it to move a little bit faster, you know, make some changes. Who cares? I'm just going to click them some stuff. So top shit, top shit. That's good. Okay, and go here. Dope and I. Uh, I'm just going to click this one and I location on this one and I'm just going to go ahead here and move it like this location we will move it like this you know. I location G move it like this B I location so this is happening around here. So thanks for viewing this. Uh, quick note, Alt R Alt G, you can just always add an uh, drivers and stuff for the this part. So we can just go ahead and add the texture on uh, the shading type of this to um, I'm just going to check, change it to texture, checker, texture, you know, checker, 
to see the rotation better so I'm just going to check this and go ahead and edit the driver and I'm just going to use the variable one and stuff and edit the driver and just go here robot base and found you know should work Python expression x axis delete the driver and add the driver here plus in this part object robot base and make this the bone so it should work now nice it's working so I have I sh just changed the base of this to um, make the variable okay so I'm just going to the, go to the one location so whenever we move this in the y direction it will move so we have the expression inverse now so I'm just going to go to edit driver and instead of plus one I'm just going to make it min times minus one so whenever we move this it will move in this direction so we are just going to add the same thing on this axis and we will be good to go I'm just going to add a driver here I'm just going to make the variable times one add the robot base at the bone here and the x location so whenever we move it in the x location should work i'm just going to go ahead and try it out on the x axis it's not working for some reason okay we got a let's edit the driver <clears throat> and it should be the Y location, I guess. Okay, let me try this. And it is going all over the place, so I should. I think I probably know the reason, so this should be the X axis. Nice, we have the. Uh, working in all the directions so G shift Z and this should work so I'm just going to put back this to its original um, texture so I'm just going to go you notes I'm just going to go to shading mode and disable it delete this texture and shading you know principle based DF add this here change the color to black now you can make your own short using this robot it is all linked and you can animate it you have the bones everything working so thank you for watching if you like it like subscribe thank you